What up YouTube, it's your boy Mam the Barber. In this video, I'm gonna be demonstrating how to do a draw fade with the one and a half using hair enhancement. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get to it. All right guys, to start off, I'll be using my Andes Supra ZR with the one and a half detachable blade going with the grain. Now, as you can see right here, a lot of people really do have a lot of trouble with the cowlick going the direction where the waving takes you guys um as you can see i mean i've done it before you know there's people were like and i one time i was doing the waving and then i had the patching it for not going the direction that the cowlick takes you all right guys to create this dry fade i'm using one of my favorite trimmers the anna slimline pro li those are one of my favorite favorite cordless trimmers i think anna's did a great job with these trimmers uh, you can actually purchase these on uh, Amazon for like 50, 52 bucks. They're really worth it. Um, as you can see, I'm creating my guidelines. Just bring down the hair. All right, guys. The next step, what I'm doing right now, it's uh, I'm using my wall five star shaver I'm pretty sure everyone has this on their arsenal um, as you can see i'm balling all the way around the back just to create another guideline uh, these are the steps that i normally use i really hope that this helps out um, as you can see right here i'm using my ti liners these are my hairs i mean honestly I'm just trying to get rid of that line that i just created now i'm gonna be using my wall magic clips with the number one to create another guideline uh, with the number one is the best way to, to do this fade in my personal opinion all right YouTube as you can see I did switch over to another clipper of using the magic wall but apparently it died on me so now I switched over to the reflections um, as you can see right here I'm, I'm doing the open lever to create another guideline in this clip, you're gonna be seeing me doing open lever, halfway, and close, as you get rid of those lines. Oh yeah, and another thing I forgot to tell you guys, this clippers are zero gap. Uh, I prefer this way to, you know, to have them zero gap because uh, it just makes it much easier for me to get rid of the lines. That way I don't have to use my TI liners. Um, but yeah, if you have these type of clippers, you know, I suggest you do uh, zero gap them. Just be really careful with the client's head. You know, sometimes, you know, you can end up cutting them. So be careful. All right, YouTube, as you can see, I have my half guard or the 116 guard. In this clip, you're gonna be seeing me doing the halfway and close just to get rid of that line that I got going on. Um, I really do apologize that this clip is going pretty fast. I mean, YouTube only gives me just a certain time. I think it's like 15 minutes uh, to do this whole video. But just remember, I'm doing the halfway and I'm doing close. All right, now I'm using my one and a half guard or the 316 guard. Um, I'm gonna create another guideline. Yes, I know I'm creating guidelines, I know that. But as you can see, I was flicking out. Uh, I'm not digging too much in there. I'm not trying to create another hard line, you know, but just more of a soft line, uh, just to make it much easier to fade. OK, 
Okay, after the previous steps that I showed you with the one and a half, I am going back with the one guard or the one eight and just trying to get rid of that previous line that I created. Um, if you're gonna be seeing the little steps that I, that I did right here, it's, uh, I did open, halfway, and close. Um, honestly, like I know, I know I'm doing a lot of like steps, but you know this is the best way I can, you know, you can do a fade. I mean, my personal opinion. If you guys have a different technique, then I mean, by far that's 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 great. But these are my techniques that I normally use on a daily basis. All right, YouTube, as you can see here, I'm using a number two guard just to soften out that line. Um, now, in this part right here, I'm gonna be using the one and a half guard just to blend in with the number two and actually to soften out that line as well. And doing more of a detail work, you know, uh, using the corners, you know, you open lever, halfway close. Just remember, it's always good to go back and do the little detail work. Uh, just to perfect that blend and also making it more into a dry fade look uh, Just remember guys uh, using the corners is the best way to perfect a nice blend and just keep that in mind All right, YouTube now I'm using some hairspray um, spraying on the hairline just to give it more of an extra hold uh, it's, it's really beneficial just to use this because um, it just holds the hairline and It's just much easier just to have that crispier lineup and I mean I see if you guys ever want to try this out I mean you guys won't regret it uh, I like doing this a lot and my lineup my lineups gonna end up coming out more crisp So my client have these little ball spots, as you can see, and I'm pulling it out. Um, I am using some hair dye. Uh, a lot of people really do talk a lot of crap about it, using hair fiber, using hair dye. But to be honest, man, it's 2017. The barber game has changed a lot. Um, don't be ashamed to use this. Who cares about what people say? Uh, clients really do appreciate it. Uh, if you really think about it, man, you can even charge more. Uh, just by doing stuff like this and giving a little bit of extra your client will tip you trust me all right youtube so once you're done lining up your client and using a uh, hair fiber or a hair enhancement um, I like to use the uh, straight razor that expose the blade. Uh, reason why I say this because you can actually see what you're cutting and where not to pass. But uh, if you guys don't have a straight razor like this, I mean, I suggest you do get one. It makes the job much easier. And also, don't forget to stretch out the skin to get that crispy line. All right, YouTube, well, this is the final cut, a dry fade with the one and a half on top using the hair enhancement. Uh, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment below, don't forget to subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at ManTheBarber. I'll try my best to upload uh, one or two videos every week. Until next time.